Well, pessimism about our economy clouded much of 2009. Nationwide, we lost over 7 million jobs. Yet as we begin 2010, there are signs that our economy and subsequently employment is rebounding, but not necessarily to where it used to be. A recent report shows that 71% of today's workers hold jobs for which there is a decreasing demand. Today, we begin a series of reports on where employment is heading and what we can all do to be prepared for it. And we begin with where the jobs are in cybersecurity. In a digital world, we face threats as relentless as they are abundant, our future dependent on cybersecurity. The government has been facing a cyber threat for a number of years, but the internet has expanded the threat from government to industry to private citizens. And the fact that the world is so connected, it means that local decisions can have global impact, a shared risk that, that people, people make risk management decisions without understanding they're going to be sharing that risk with everybody they're connected to. Richard George is with the National Security Agency, the front line in the war on cyber terror. He doesn't understand the impact that the graduates of his program have had on the security of the nation, but it has been profound. And here in Oklahoma, to recognize Career Tech's efforts in training a new generation of cybersecurity professionals. This training is absolutely critical. Uh, if, if you look at the adversary, the adversary is constantly getting smarter. We have to stay on top of it. Launched in 2002, the Cybersecurity Education Consortium has grown into an eight-state effort with more than 1,200 students at technology centers, community colleges, and the University of Tulsa. Uh, it's very important that we maintain the security of not only the military information, but the personal information we have stored at different locations, different agencies. It's so uh, vital to uh, our company's security and their growth that we continue to maintain some kind of cybersecurity program, and I think it's just going to get uh, to be a larger industry than it ever has before. And in need of workers, thanks to a $2.7 million grant from the National Science Foundation, the consortium will be able to train more students like Bobby Jacques. I went to school at Francis Tuttle and OCCC. They had a co-op program together. Most of my schooling was done at Francis Tuttle. They took a lot of my military credits and, and applied it, so I got my associates from OCCC, but it was in cooperation with Francis Tuttle. I got, a, I don't know, four or five certifications. A former Army paratrooper, Jock says thanks to this training, he feels like he can still serve his country. I, I felt that way, especially after seeing the, uh, the, the Russian-Georgia war where they used a cybersecurity attack on the Georgians when they first went in, and we're no different. We got to protect equipment and we got to protect data, and a lot of it's sensitive data. The, the CAE program is, is phenomenal. It's, it's about 100 schools across the country. They, ha they have fantastic training. The, the courses have all been evaluated. They, 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 they've been certified. They are creating the cyber warriors that are going to provide protection for the country.